What's happening? Hello world and welcome to your fourth SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I'm going to be showing you how to use SQL Server Configuration Manager to start and stop services. It's going to be giving you a brief overview of what SQL Server Configuration Manager can do. Some of the things it can do is it can start, stop, or pause a service. It can change service accounts. It can configure network protocols. And we can configure advanced properties such as always on and file stream. Now because these services are centralized, administrators are able to configure and manage services from one location. Changing accounts and account passwords are actions often required or requested. For example, when you went and installed SQL Server, you may have accepted the default for all the service accounts that SQL Server runs. And now you want to change them. So as a best practice, you should always use SQL Server Configuration Manager to make these changes because it not only changes the account, but also sets necessary changes to registry permissions so that the account has the proper permission. So to get started, we're going to go to our Start menu, All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2012, Configuration Tools, SQL Server Configuration Manager, And then from here, we're going to click SQL Server Services. And then over here, we're looking for the fourth one down. It says SQL Server MS SQL Server. And if we uh, right click, we can see it says Start here. We go to Properties. We have more options. The service is currently stopped. So, and then we have all these different tabs. Feel free to click through all those and get familiar with. But what I wanted to show you was right here in the Log On tab. And uh, the service is already stopped, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. And this takes maybe a minute or two, depending on how fast your machine is. And uh, once it's done, it'll be done. That's that. That's really all I wanted to show you in this tutorial, really brief, but just how to start, stop, and pause and restart a service. As you can see, stop, pause, and restart are all grayed out at the moment because it's in the middle of starting it you know once it's started then I would have the options to do those other ones and also let me show you something okay now I, we can see it's running see fourth down it's running now I could stop it I could pause it I could restart it I can do this for any of these and yeah real real easy real brief but that is a really common task that you will be doing a lot as a database administrator or even a SQL developer. So it's something that you absolutely know, need to know how to do. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you're having fun with these, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.